What up Long Beach, it's Tyler. Welcome back to your home for local sports. This More League Baseball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. It's been a fun regular season here in More League Baseball. The final chance to get a double header in at Blair Field and it felt a lot like summer as the sun was shining harshly down on Blair and a big time showdown. Tyler Radcliffe getting the ball for first place Wilson. Second place, Milliken turning to Jacob Alcorn on the bump. Scott Glasser's boys trying to get a share of that Moore League title. Andy Hall and his Bruins looking to go 12-0 in Moore League play. As we started off, a rough start for Radcliffe. A pair of first inning walks are going to put two on here in the first frame. And after this ball gets away from Chris Betts, there's two in scoring position here with two down in that first inning. Griffin Keller at the plate. Griffin Keller going to center. That'll score one. Here comes the second run. Spencer Steer gets denied at the dish as Chris Betts is a big boy to get around and a great throw coming in from Brown to cut down the run, but Milliken gets that 1-0 lead in the first. Brown gets on with a leadoff single for the Bruins, but the heart of the order can't do anything to bring him in. Alcorn gets the fly out to center from Goldberg. Then after getting ahead on Betts, Gets him to ground out to second. And finally, Jackson Foss is going to sky this one to Dean Duggan, who makes the play on the infield. Alcorn pitching to contact, working backwards as he went to the breaking stuff early in the count through the heart of the order, and he escapes trouble in the first. Now in the third inning, two on here as Jacob Huey singles through the right side. Nobody out, and as Spencer Steer draws the walk, the bases are chucked. For Griff Kell once again. He's going to send it down to third. It's going to get by Jackson Foss. Stays in the infield, but the run comes in as Tristan Chamberlain scores the run. It's 2-0 Milliken. Next up, Max Witt with the max hit down the right field line. That's going to bring in a pair of Rams, and suddenly that lead will double to 4-0 here in the third. Still nobody out. That's the end of the evening for Radcliffe as the Bruins turn to Josh Goldberg out of the pen. But uh, he's going to give up this seeing eye single through the left side from Chase Ambrose. Witt puts on the brakes. Bowl gets away there at the cutoff, and that's going to allow another run to come home as the Bruins give up five runs in that third. It's 6-0 Milliken. Wilson hasn't allowed more than three runs in an inning all year. Meanwhile, Alcorn allowing Wilson to put the ball in play, taking advantage of the defense. 6-4-3 goes that double play. And he also got plenty of fly ball outs, which are, uh, that's a tough way to succeed when you're putting the ball in the air too much at Blair Field. Outfielders well positioned to take care of trouble, and the Bruins still scoreless. A few innings later, two on in scoring position, Johnny Weeks. That puts in his two weeks notice as he's going to drive in two runs with that one Tyler Steer bringing it home as Dean Duggan already scored, not pictured. And Milliken really continued to put it on. It was 9-0 at that point. Alcorn just had to focus on getting his complete game shutout, and with this ground ball to third, he would get that done. A great night from Alcorn, scattering four hits, and the offense really picked him up. Everybody in the starting lineup got a base hit, and the Rams scored in all but two innings. Who'd have thought it'd be Milliken going 12-0 tonight and not Wilson? Now get your quarter ready. Time to figure out who the number one seed's going to be now that we're tied at the top. More League Secretary Lisa Ulmer out there explaining to Andy Hall that it's his call to make. So let's hand it over to Lisa Ulmer. Hall is next. It is, I see tail. Tails, okay, so Milliken will be number one. And Congratulations. Thanks, Andy. Lucky. Thanks, Lisa. Milliken celebrates a great night at Blair Field as they join Wilson as league champions and earn the number one seed with that coin flip. Scott Glasser said it was the best baseball his team's played all year. For the Bruins, that's their first double-digit loss in nine years, and they go into the playoffs now as the two seed out of the Moore League. Not a good way to end the regular season. Polly and Lakewood, your other playoff teams. Jordan waiting for at-large consideration. Brackets come out Monday, and of course the best coverage of Moore League baseball playoffs will be right here at Gazette Sports and the Breast Telegram.